Hi friends, uh, we are back to another session of Soaring Through Chaos. And uh, the main reason we do this is to help each other understand how we can deal with crisis situations. And beyond just surviving the crisis, is it possible for us to grow through these challenges? Because it's when we are in our discomfort, when we are out of our comfort zone, that's when doctors and scientists say we have our biggest growth spurts. So with me is an amazing friend, uh, Prakriti Mehta, who has been through and has led many people go through their challenges. So Prakriti, we met, uh, I think more than a year ago when we were actually talking about using dance as a way and the creative arts as a way to come out of addictions, to come out of challenges in life. Uh, how did you end up with, that, with dance? And also, what was your life like before we met? What led you towards the healing processes? Yeah, so uh, very interesting, uh, Shankar. Like we have met, um, I had always, you know, very intrigued and interested in something like a dance as a, as a um, therapy, you know, uh, because I do have an inclination towards dance. And I, I was really intrigued uh, to know how does that have an impact on our body. And because coming from a wellness, uh, field I understand that how emotions do have a role in our body and how does it uh, kind of integrates in our body in so that becomes a part of our health and we first met in, in the dance uh, you know the dance moment uh, circle that we conducted and it was a very good experience um, uh, you made us dance and uh, there was a there was like a complete rush of energy then they were slowing down so it was it was like quite an interesting concept uh, which then um, made me open more about uh, a lot of how body is uh, can be can be a vehicle to express our emotions uh, so uh, prakriti uh, most people get into the healing profession around midlife when they have faced a crisis themselves how did you end up getting into the, the whole idea of uh, counseling and the healing so early in life? What was your, what, what uh, inspired you to get into this so soon? Right. So this is a very interesting question, Shankar, because, um, yes, so, you know, while I was in my childhood, I came across to a physical condition. It was, it was something which uh, really impacted my life at that point of time uh, so i was going through uh, it's called as a it's called as a um, nephrotic syndrome which is like a kidney infection and uh, that was something which which was not very very um, known even even in the medical field at that point of time which is like around 12 years ago so it uh, it used to generally happen to one in thousand people and uh, doctors were also kind of were not able to understand where is it coming from and how to treat something like this so we went through i i personally went when i was in school and i, I went it, it's considered to be a growing age and at that point of time i got nephrotic syndrome which is like an infection of the kidney and um, biopsy and various other tests were done uh, which was treated through uh, medicines, heavy doses of medicines like steroids and cyclosporin. These are very, very heavy dose, which stunts your growth physically as well as mentally. So within that 20 or 30 days itself, you know, I started to see that my height is not growing as it should be. So, you know, suddenly like I'm, I'm feeling like, um, everybody else is growing taller than me and um, that was one of the condition and then it was um, I my eyesight became uh, um, like that was also kind of uh, became weak my eyesight so that is there then um, because of the condition I was going through a lot of uh, edema or you can say swellings in my body which um, like in the entire body you can see a lot of swelling the water retention was happening because it was a kidney related um, thing 
so and we constantly at the same time we were also facing a issue or of which doctor do we really cater to because uh, we it was a very sudden thing that just came up and we were not really as you said we were not uh, we were having no idea about a good nephrologist at that point of time in the city and we we went from different doctors to doctors and um, there was like a lot of experiments happening um and it took me 2 years to get out of it and in that 2 years a lot of things happened uh, like emotionally i was uh, in a very very bad uh, phase physically of course i was and because the medis- medical field is also expensive so you know it's like i was seeing my family um giving a lot of financial uh, thing also like even financially it was quite uh, heavy for us so um, so yeah it was it was like everything emotionally mentally physically financially and i saw it and at the end of it i was in this two years i always uh, i i started to look at my health in a more different way than it was i started to value that how food simple thing like food if taken properly simple things like uh, not taking too much of you know stress or fears and uh, to just have a balanced outlook is so so important which during the schooling time i was i was not able to understand it but when i uh, passed my 12 uh, uske baad uske baad i felt that uh, then there was there is this feel i came across this feel called as foods and nutrition so then i was really interested in it because i wanted i wanted me to first understand my body and nourish my body i do understand that there was a lot of nutrition which was taken away at that point of time because of these things so i wanted to first try and uh, you know try and replenish my own body and uh, then i also wanted that how can i help other people uh, to become more healthy to become more happier and uh, i also wish that nobody has to go through all these things so that is again one thing which i have a deep uh, you know it's like my heart's wish that nobody should be dealing with any kind of physical ailments because it's so much in our own control we can control it very easily so why to be dependent on somebody right so we can control over it if we have a control on our physical health on our mental health on our emotional health and it's all sorted but uh, still a health is something which has a lot of lot of integrated approach is what i feel wow thank you thank you and it's so interesting that uh, uh, you know uh, experience is one of the biggest teachers and um, at yeah. this stage in your life uh, what do you do i mean uh, like you started with health and uh, physical nutrition but i know you're doing a lot more than that because i attended one of your first uh, mindful coffee drinking sessions or a mindful coffee break so tell us about yeah. how you've integrated health and nutrition into many other aspects of your offerings today and okay. how you're doing it during the pandemic as well Yes so pandemic is uh, i understand it's really uh, heavy for each one of us it's becoming heavy and it's becoming uh, slightly tiring exhausting so yeah so coming back to the question that um, uh, you know shankar it started with nutrition as a journey then slowly i also realized after course i'm also very seek in mind so very curious as a person and i want to know everything about how uh each modality will have an impact on ourselves and uh, so then i also tried uh, yoga and uh, i did a course in yoga i it it helped me a lot to balance my emotions to balance my mind so nutrition was one aspect but then again yoga is something which balances your mind and your emotions which is also a very very important part of our our body uh so then uh, yoga then i also explored meditation as like what meditation is so i did some vipassana courses which is like really intense meditation i did that and i was like oh my god this is uh, something uh, this is this really it's like a lot of release happened in there 
and slowly uh, because of my curious and seeking nature i always try and see that what is it uh, like i'm very open minded that way so i want um, so then you know slowly my entire quest of having a balanced life is started to become a journey kind of thing so currently uh then i understood the importance of being in the present being more mindful being more aware helps a lot uh emotionally as well as mentally so at this time uh, what do you offer do you offer uh, uh, a course on mindfulness or on nutrition or yoga or combination what is what is your current offering and what do you call it yeah so currently i'm taking wellness workshops which is like a very integrated approach to yoga then uh, developing a mindset which is uh, more uh, balanced releasing of the emotions which are toxic toxic release of the emotions is also very very important most of the time we suppress our emotions we don't talk about things which is not comfortable to us which makes us feel bad about ourselves but it is still there so it's like you know it's like we want to build something we have to take out the toxicity that is present in our ma- mind in our hearts a uh, lot of the grudges and disappointments and uh, you know sadness is present in each one of us which when we remove it then we will see that a complete release or uh, is happening and this release will give a lot of space for the new positive uh, mindset to develop so uh, most of the time you know i also feel that uh, there's a lot of motivational spe- uh, speakers going on around but why doesn't it really touch us there are so many people who would say that uh, but it didn't touch me at all because because the toxicity has reached here you know it's not it needs to be first taken out so that we can really imbibe the the things that we are supposed to so the release process is extremely important and it's called as like i call it as an emotional detox um, wow. emotional yeah yeah so yeah. emotional detox is uh, like how we clean our houses we need to clean our heart we need to clean our mind we need to clean our body on regular basis because that will make us more uh, you know balanced or you can say happy in ourselves and do you have any suggestions for people during the pandemic many of us are not allowed to travel we cannot even do work in some cases we cannot get out um, elders in some cases are sick young people are sick people of all ages are going through fear do you have any suggestions on where they can begin the detox process the emotional detox that you mentioned yeah so one thing which has really changed uh, me as a person and has been really uh, impactful is journaling so when i journal just 10 minutes of basic journaling of whatever i'm feeling you know without any judgments i don't have to be positive in the journal at all i there's nobody to look at uh, or judge me at all but uh, just simply writing out your emotions um also also you know moving your body is something which which really helps so maybe some you know just the dance you can just dance on your favorite songs and you can um, journal 15 minutes every day so uh, journal has been even scientifically it has been proved that journaling helps in detoxing you know, detoxing your mind detoxifying your emotions and it is equivalent to doing a meditation so for people who are very anxious they can't sit for meditation journaling is extremely helpful it it uh, gives you in the it makes you more mindful as a person and where do you see yourself going you've done so much already uh, going forward are you planning to uh, of course we are still in corona times and everything is online right now uh and yeah. i get i suppose you are offering everything online as well right yes i am offering uh, uh, online workshops on wellness on self love again self love is one concept which has which i have explored a lot how i used to self criticize myself my self talk was extremely uh, critical and it was very negative 
so then i changed my self talk um, i i understood the importance of thought or each and every word that i say has a huge impact on myself as well as on others so then i also worked on self love as a concept for to really heal our our self to really heal our emotions and um, uh, so it's it's like a very integrated approach shankar which we uh, which i cater to when it comes to my workshops it's yoga plus self love then um, release of emotions and currently i'm also doing um, doing a course in energy healing so i am uh, maybe maybe i i'm going to the path of healer or healing so it's it's still like it's still in the process very very interesting uh, and um, do you have any last uh, thoughts on how we can all come out of this better by the way what you were saying earlier if we are already full if we are already congested we can't take in anything new it reminds me of the zen uh, saying that if my cup is full i have to let go of something from the cup otherwise nothing yeah. can come into the cup yeah do you have right, any, right. any yeah. other last words on how we can grow through these challenges not just survive but how we can grow to our next level of evolution when we are going through all these challenges you know this has been extremely exhausting even for me like knowing everything you know about how to how to handle it but for me also it has been really exhausting because uh, there's a lot of shifts happening uh, around in the you know like i believe in universe and things like that so there's a lot of shifts that is happening a lot of breakdown is happening happening on a on a massive level so whenever there is a breakdown it is not going to be an easy process it is painful it is going to be uh something wherein you are very uncomfortable but i would what i have kind of understood in this process is just embrace this process in a more compassionate way embrace it in a lot of understanding way uh and just be very gentle throughout this uh, phase you know whatever we are emotionally feeling or mentally we are feeling just be with yourself in total support you know like completely supporting everything i have lot of toxic emotions of my own have been showing up in this time um and uh, this has not been an easy thing like for me to accept myself even though there's so much of the things that i want that i don't want to look into myself but i'm going with a lot of uh, compassion i'm going through with a lot of uh, gentleness with a lot of support and at the same time i am um, overcoming it so and i'm not restricting myself of not feeling it uh, i just want to feel those emotions let it uh, let it out acknowledge it and just release it and so one of the that things is related to this uh, sorry for interrupting you there is yeah. that people need community a lot of what you're saying is about uh, the self but also about relating to each other to be kind to each other gentle with oneself and with others but right now we cannot see other people or we can see them very rarely and uh, there's a lot of isolation that's going on uh, single people are miserable because they're single married people are sometimes miserable because they're married and are stuck to the same person but uh, yeah. this all has come to the surface in a big way uh, what do you recommend about interpersonal relationships during covid times yeah that's that's very important question and um, so you know uh, what i'm learning through the process is we need to take some time out for ourselves at the same time we need a support as well so i have few people in uh, my circle who completely understands what am I, whatever i'm going through and i can show up to them i can show up my toxic patterns i can um, my family is also like i'm trying to be more open with all the emotions that is uh, coming up i'm trying to be more need needy sometimes i'm i'm becoming very needy about no i want you to be you know just hug me or you know just listen to me uh, things like that which was not very which i was not very comfortable with before 
but these things are coming up you know for me so the journey <clears throat> like for different people different things are going to come up at the same time yes community we have um, like i'm really um, uh, blessed that i do have a community wherein people do express their emotions uh, there is an access uh, for me to have a community where people understands these things so yes community helps a lot and uh, the sharing circles that i have done in fact the mindful coffee um, thing that uh, we did uh, people with similar similar uh, thought or maybe you know they are just open with this kind of um, emotional wellness uh, there are a lot of communities already there if if we don't have somebody like this so i mean there's always i am there always you know to really help and connect or just be there or uh, with that person but then otherwise also even online a lot of sharing circles have come up which kind of helps great and uh, if people want to get in touch with you is there a simple way to do that i can share that along with this video and this is not an advertisement because there's a big need in society i'm uh, actually asking my speakers to share their whatever contact information they are comfortable with giving yeah sure um they can contact me via facebook or maybe instagram and um, i i continuously share my details there my workshops and, and all do you have like an ongoing video blog on uh, instagram and facebook is that right um yes yeah, so i have my youtube channel also oh, maybe good. Good. Uh, yes which has some mindful exercises so they can you know you can just check that the mindful morning morning series i had conducted so great yeah please share that with me so i can share it with everybody and thank you again all of you for being with me here if you have any questions you know how to reach me or i'll give the information for prakriti as well uh, these are the times when we need support from each other and being shy is not the best thing at this time and uh, all we are here to do is create community globally so we can support each other thanks again and uh, it's time to say goodbye but again if there's more um, if, if there are many more things you want to learn from prakriti we can always do a follow on session thanks prakriti Hi, and you. very nice again meeting you here and same, now same of course you're meeting more online <laughs> yeah thank you so much shankar i uh, just want to thank you really because you've been uh, there and i i'm really learning a lot of things from you uh, yeah so thank you so much we are all here for each other bye bye yeah yeah okay thank you bye, bye.